Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Paladins and today we're going to be taking a look at a character in the current lineup that's got a bit of a dark streak about them. He's the revolver wielding horned beast known only as Androxus, the God Slayer. Androxus is a flanker by class and potent damage dealer by nature. His revolver puts out a respectable amount of damage at medium to close range while his abilities give him a fair amount of survival and mobility options. A single shot from his revolver will deal 620 damage per shot at a rate of 2 rounds per second. By right clicking you can fire off a burst of 3 rounds that deal 300 damage each. The burst itself takes just 1.2 seconds to complete and landing all 3 shots will deal 500 bonus damage. This means a full burst from this ability can deal a whopping 1100 points of damage to a single target, making it an excellent finisher against most damage characters and flankers. After closing in with a few single shots, unleashing a burst should be enough to finish them off at close range, just bear in mind it that the ability does come with an accuracy penalty that might make it difficult to hit anything reliably beyond close range. Androxus has a good amount of mobility as well with his nether step ability. This ability has a 10 second cooldown but it can be used up to 3 times before requiring a cooldown. This allows him to dash a few meters in any direction by simply activating it while holding a movement key. If it is used from a height he can even slow his descent by you holding the jump key. Uh, this gives you a good amount of control over your movements and allows you to attack from unexpected angles. His next ability, Reversal, is a useful defense ability. When activated, it absorbs any incoming damage from the front for 1.4 seconds. Once it ends, 75% of all damage absorbed is unleashed in a single blast towards whatever you're aiming at. It can be very useful for turning the odds in your favor, particularly against high burst damage enemies. Combined with Nether Dash, it can then be used as a useful means of escape by simply activating the reversal, absorbing, firing off the blast and then dashing away. His ultimate ability transforms his primary weapon into a miniature rocket launcher. Androxus takes flight and flies for 4 seconds. In that time, he can fire a maximum of 4 explosive blasts from his revolver at a rate of 2 rounds per second. It's enough to melt tanky heroes or completely annihilate flankers and damage heroes. Overall, in the short time I've been playing Androxus, I've found two things to be key in doing reasonably well as him. Accuracy and positioning. By setting up in good spots for ambushing or countering flankers, you can really help your team take out dangerous enemies before they can do any damage. At the same time, Androxus' primary weapon might have a short range before damage falloff kicks in, but its relatively slow fire rate means that it's a weapon that rewards accuracy. It can be very tempting to just make burst fire your go-to ability when enemies get close and most of the time that might work, but a few well placed shots at longer range can make a big difference. Don't forget that the weapon is still fairly powerful outside of its optimum range so don't hesitate to fire a couple of shots at enemies further away to get that damage in and weaken them for when they get closer. Bear in mind I've not played a lot of Androxus and this is just my impression from playing about an hour or so of him, but he's a fun character to play so I thought I'd share my thoughts on him anyway. But let me know what you guys think, have you had a chance to play Androxus, what setup do you run for him and if you could change anything about him at all, what would it be and why? Let me know what you think down in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.